This week's college football playoff first round game has the Wyoming Cowboys traveling to Austin to take on the Texas Longhorns. The Cowboys are ranked 11th in the nation and 11-2 overall in champions of the Mountain West Conference for the second straight year after last week's 24-10 victory over the UNLV Rebels. The Cowboys do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The National Top 25 Rankings Going Into Today's Games The Cowboys' individual stats going into today's game.
And now, our first round college football playoff game as the 11th ranked 11 2 Wyoming Cowboys come into Austin to take on the 6th ranked 11 2 Texas Longhorns. Welcome everyone to the college football playoff. The entire regular season has built up to this. 12 teams still in the running with championship dreams alive as we begin this first round game in an on-campus setting. And this is a very intriguing matchup. One team that earned the right to host this game and enjoy tremendous crowd support against another team that slipped into the playoff trying to establish a tradition now of upsets in the first round of the CFP. As we'll see the number 11 seed in this playoff, the Wyoming Cowboys, taking on the number six seed in the playoff, the Texas Longhorns. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined as always by Kirk Kerbstreet. The kickoff team is out there. Great energy as this college football playoff gets underway. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. The Cowboys offense going to get the chance to start this game off. And the focus, of course, on this quarterback, Kirk. This guy just him, as they say. Well, Chris, we've had a chance to watch this guy closely all year. And I don't know if I've ever seen a kid throw the football like this guy. His awareness in and out of the pocket is special. He's a unique quarterback and a really dynamic player. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Well, they don't pick up the first down here, but if you can use the quick passing game to stay ahead of the chains, it definitely helps your offense. And if that defense starts to creep up to take that away, that's when you can take a shot downfield. It's third and six, a challenging spot here on the opening drive. Dropping back, it's Foboda. Receiver makes the catch and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Oh, the defense, they get this offense to a third down early in the game, a chance to get him off the field, but instead this quarterback shows you why they've had such a great year with a conversion. See what the call is on first and ten. Looking for a gap, it's Scott. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Christina, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space, still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. He's running out of time here. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with the first sack of the game. Defense are going to keep the pressure up on this third down. And he drops back in the gun. Fires it to the wideout. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. And the punt team now on to kick it away. He's on to boot it away now. No kick it away here. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. The Longhorns offense out there for their first possession. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. They start the drive with a quick throw to the right side. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Offense getting set. It's second down. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Back to pass. It's Manning. 
Quick throw to the left. Makes the catch downfield. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly to the wide out. Finds a man downfield. That's a big gain to the right. Tackle made after a big gain. Longhorns hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Trying to run, it's blue. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. The shotgun running play call. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorns. But that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. Here's the point after attempt. And the PAT makes it 7-0 to open score. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. So Wyoming's offense goes back out onto the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? And now the handoff. They'll tackle him at the 27. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Good enough for the first down to the 37. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back. Showing great patience, the hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. Back to throw. It's Foboda. Quick throw to his receiver. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. Lining up to try the extra point. And the PAT is good. Now they get set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. And brought down at the line by that big defensive tackle. Important second down play coming up. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And he lofts it toward the sideline. That deep shot is caught for a big game. Brought down at the 18 and suddenly this offense is in the red zone. Well, it's got to be so rewarding for an offensive coordinator when your play call perfectly counters the defense's call. That's exactly what we saw right here. That play targeted the coverage's biggest weak spot, and it led to a wide-open wide receiver. The Longhorns come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Taking a shot here. And it's picked off in the end zone. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. In 
that penalty and take the result of the play. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Takes the handoff. It's Scott. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fit, stay holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Dropping back, it's Boboda. Running out of time in the pocket. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. The defense will wrap him up after a seven-yard gain. It'll bring up fourth down. Really tight coverage here by this defense. Now, they give up the pass underneath, but do a nice job of rallying to the football to keep him short of that first down marker. And now we've got a decision here on fourth down. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And this one will be fair caught. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. That was a nice juke, but not much room to run. He's brought down for a short game. Getting set. Here's second down. Tailback takes the handoff again. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Offense facing a third and short from the 41. Can they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision? Off play action. He's looking to throw. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. And they'll use the ground game here. Oh, what a cut. And still going. Touchdown, Texas. No chance to catch him. What a long run for the touchdown. I don't know if this defense was caught sleeping or walking in mud. I can't pick which one. Maybe it's both because the running back just went right by them so easily for the big game and a big-time score. the point after attempt. PAT puts him in front by seven. Getting set to kick the ball off now. He'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Here's the second down play. Looking to pass, it's Foboda. Gets the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Man, you gotta love this if you're defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time, they got to him and forced that incompletion. This should be the last play of the quarter. And he'll drop back here on third down. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. So Texas has the lead, Kirk, as we break here for the quarter. We've reached the end of one in this quest to move one step closer to a national championship. Let's check out the stats so far.
games just feel different. Who can handle the nerves better as we head to the second? And the punt team makes its way onto the field. And that sets up a return. They finally get him down, but that's just... Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. Looking for a gap, it's Baxter. The gain is four, so it's second and six. They call the counter run here. And they finally stop him, but a decent gain that time. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Can he make it to the marker? Tackled at the 33. That's good enough for a first down. Long runs come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. On first down, they'll keep their running game churning. Making people miss. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. Longhorns will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Caught behind the line, it's Bond. They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Great cut. They whiff on him. Runner finally brought down, but at the five-yard line, defense getting pushed back here. First and goal, handoff. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Longhorns. And it's just a thing of beauty to watch this offense. That's this guy's third touchdown. Give the offensive line a lot of credit. They're getting enough of a push to give him some room to show you what he can do with that space. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. They'll return it from inside the five. Coverage team brings down the... So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together in this drive with a little more urgency. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. He's brought down after a short gain that's not going to be first down yardage. Second down play coming up. Dropping back. It's Foboda. It's a quick grab. It's a nice game. They move the football up to the 27. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Chris, that's another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show why he's had such a great year this year. When he has time to throw, he gets his feet set. He's as accurate as any quarterback in the country. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Good enough for first down yardage. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big time runs. That makes him block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. The game is three. Now it's second down and seven. For the defense coordinator this week, all we telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the quarterback dropping back. There's a wide open receiver complete. 
That's a big gain across midfield all the way to the opponent's 35. You know, each receiver brings something a little bit different to the table, Chris. To me, the outside receivers usually are a little bit longer, taller guys. You get those slot receivers in the inside, not only can they make the catch, but they have quickness to make plays after the catch. Great example of that right here. Just trucks the man. Doing a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you've got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. To throw, it's Foboda. Or throw away there. Gave up on the play, but now it's going to bring up third down. I mean, this defense is having their way with this offensive line. That poor quarterback doesn't have a chance. Every time he drops back to throw, he's getting ear hole. You better make some adjustments up front to give your poor quarterback a chance. Dropping back, you're going to throw for the first down. Receiver makes the grab. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. Coach decides no field goal attempt. The offense is out there to go for it on fourth down. He hands it to the back. Breaking tackles. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's just mano a mano right there. Offensive line does their job, gets a nice surge there, and the back does what he needs to do to pick up the first down. And they hand it off to the back. Defense able to stop the ball carrier there. Damn, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. We're going to pass here on second down. He pulls it in for a big game. Brought down at the three-yard line, but this offense now has a first down and goal right there. Boy, another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show how dangerous he is when he has time to throw. The defensive coordinator's got to change up his looks, maybe bring in the blitz. Anything they can do to get this quarterback out of the... Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Cowboys. So with playoff pressure, Kirk, the offense executes a long, grinding, methodical drive. You know, the thing I've loved about this offense all year long is their ability to either hit the big play or not have to rely on that. Like this, they're able to sustain a drive and still come up with points and get a touchdown. And now here comes the point after attempt. The extra point is good, but down by a touchdown, 21-14. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Return starts from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. A little bit of my turn, your turn so far in the early going. Both offenses scoring touchdowns in their last possessions. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And here comes a deep shot. The catch is made for a huge pickup. And he breaks loose down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Texas. It was a foot race, and he won it. So it's still early, but this offense beginning to build momentum and build the lead now, Kirk. As we've seen over the years, Chris, good teams know how to use the first quarter to establish the lead, the second quarter to increase the lead, and the final half just to hold on to it. They're following that blueprint perfectly, widening the distance between them and their opponent before we even get to the locker rooms. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the extra point makes it a 28-14 game. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19.
So Wyoming's offense goes back out onto the field. Not a whole lot of time remaining before halftime to cut into this lead. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid gain. The game makes it second and medium. Scanning the field, it's Foboda. It's complete on the crossing route. Stop at the 36, that's good enough to move the sticks. That's a big first down for this offense, and it's not been a great day so far, but maybe this play can get them going. And keep this in mind, Chris, because they started the game with the possession, they will not get to start the second half on offense, so they need points right here. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football, and now it's second down. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. They look to throw it here on second down. And this pass is caught. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Chris, it just feels like the offense is almost teasing the defense with this play. As an offensive coordinator quarterback, you're often looking for that soft spot in the zone. And here, they do a nice job of finding that hole for a nice game. And the quarterback tucks it and takes off as a design run. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break that that ball's not intercepted. After the second down incompletion, they have to convert here on third down and eight. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. It's incomplete. There is a marker down on the field. Let's check out that call. Obviously, the defense will decline that penalty on the offense and take the result of that play. And here comes the punter onto the field. He's on to boot it away now. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. And the returner decides to signal. Just about 20 seconds remaining here in the half as a lineup on first and 10. Looking to throw, it's Manning. Oh, it's dropped off the tip by the defense there. It's going to bring up second down. Ball handed off. Jukes to get free. Physical run earns the first down. Time ticking away. Time for just one more play before halftime. And in first down, they go right back to him. And he'll be brought down, and that will wrap up the first half of play. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Chris, we wondered all week what this matchup would look like. So much at stake in this win or go home game. And we've been treated to a fabulous first two quarters of playoff football. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines. But it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working. And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. Chris, let's send things back to you and Kirk for what should be a memorable second half as we eagerly anticipate we'll be moving on to the next round of this college football playoff. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10.
Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Play action here on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Washington. Tackle made, but there's a flag down on the field. So the holding penalty in the offense backs him up 10 yards. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. With the catch, it's Golden. Chris, much like we saw in the first half, this quarterback can put the ball right on the money. Now, you know the defensive coordinator at halftime spent all the time he could with his secondary to come up with answers on how to try to slow this guy down. The ball carrier taken down, but there's a flag on the field. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Offense getting set. Second down play here. On the ground, it's Baxter. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. And the pass is complete to the tight end. The reception nets about seven yards, but fourth down coming up here. The Longhorns will have to punt this one away. Looking to flip the field here. Returner decides to fair catch. So Wyoming's offense comes back out of the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Stop short of the marker after just a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Oh, and it's almost picked off. A chance for their first interception today. Going to set up third down. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, and hands sometimes. And it's intercepted. Look out, he's got some space. Brings the interception all the way back. Touchdown, Longhorns. Well, the takeaway and the touchdown, that is just a dream play for any defender, Kirk. Well, let's start with the interception. I just love the fact that he got his eyes turned around, found the football, and then has the athletic ability to be able to secure it. Then he goes back to high school running back days and shows him what he can do with the ball in his hands and takes it all the way back for a touchdown. Beautiful thing. And they'll set up now for the extra point drop. And the extra point makes it a three touchdown lead. The kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coach. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. They have got to bounce back on this possession after throwing a pick six last time out here. It's a one-yard game, second and nine coming up. Offense goes to the pistol formation now. Looking downfield, it's Foboda. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. they got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. The putter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. 
Looking to make a play deep downfield. It's a huge game. He's got it inside the 30. They could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Wyoming. Chris, how dangerous is this offense? Well, of course, you know about the receivers, those vertical shots, but here's an example. You give the ball to the running back out in space, takes it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. And they'll set up for the PAT. PAT cuts it to a 14-point game, 35-21. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. The Longhorns offense takes the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. They're going to run it here. And he's brought down after a short gain. Does not make the first down yardage. The offense now operating in empty. And someone moved just a bit too early. That'll cost him five yards. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Going to run it. It's Baxter. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? It just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. The Longhorns will line up to kick it away. Offense goes backwards on this drive. He's on to punt it away now. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look out. And they've got the... line getting set up it's a first down play single back takes the handoff they tackle him looks like it's going to be just short of the mark inches away love those positive yards on first and ten and it's not quite a first down looks like it'll bring second and inches but sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. Here comes a handoff. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Was well, a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? They'll hand it off. They stop him after a six-yard game. So second and four. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. They'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over in that time. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks, but not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Looking downfield, it's Foboda. He'll take a deep shot. That one falls incomplete. They tried to press it deep, but now it brings up fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. Crucial play. Down double digits in the second half. They're going to go for it on fourth down. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. He's got it, and that is enough for a first down. They've got him, but they convert on fourth down, and the drive keeps going. 
Just great execution here on this fourth down to keep this drive alive. And what I love is the accuracy from the quarterback and a good job by the receiver knowing where that route needed to be to be able to catch the ball and pick up the first down. A chance to get right back into this football game. It's first down and goal. They'll give it to the back. Touchdown, Cowboys. Still no answer for this offensive machine. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. Now the try here for the extra point. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And Turner looking to make a play here. And he stopped with the 18. Returner trying to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They'll run it to the right side. Get some space around the 30. And runner brought down, but looks like there's a flag on the field. Let's see what this is about. Let's see if the offense can overcome that holding penalty. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? We'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Second down after that run on the previous play. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. It's an RPO. The quarterback gets it out quickly. Breaks clear. End zone ahead. At the 20. And he's into the end zone. But hold on. There's a flag down. This might be coming back. So that huge scoring play is wiped away by the penalty. Potentially a monumental call in this game. Receiver in motion now. To the air. It's Manning. Throws it to the right. And he's got his man open downfield. He's swarmed by the defense. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Cut quickly. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. Longhorns will line up to punt it away. On the return, it's Parks. And the return. So Wyoming's offense goes back out onto the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop them this time. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Talking about quickness, that play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman or just really good instincts there by the defender, but that play is blown up right at the snap. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And the defense brings him down. Well, the quarterback has just too much time against this zone. There's not enough pressure. It's allowing him to sit back and pick apart this zone defense. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. And they'll give it to the back. Defense able to bring him down to wrap up the third quarter of play. So Texas has the lead, Kirk, as we break here for the quarter. Sitting in a pretty good spot as you wrap up the third quarter, trying to keep those national championship hopes alive. Let's take a quick look at the game stats where we have a chance.
playoff. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Gives it to the back. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from a first down. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? The back's got it again. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. The offense getting closer to a game-tying touchdown is first and ten. It's a run. Running back's got it. Powering through. I used the stiff arm there. Defense wasn't buying it to get him down for just a short game. And here comes play number six on this drive. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Snapping it from the red zone now. Looking to throw. Catch made on the left side. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. Kicking team on now for the extra point. PAT is up and good, and we are all tied here in the final quarter. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. The turn begins inside the 10. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. The loss sets up a second and long from the 20. Movement here from the tight end. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive lofting it toward the left sideline. Brought way downfield for a huge game. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. A handoff from the shotgun. Just a small game. Look at it, second and nine. Motion now from the tight end. And it's complete downfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Keeping it on the ground here. The gain is three yards, brings up a second down and seven. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. Touchdown, Texas! And they'll claim the fourth quarter lead. 
Well, the call was sort of predictable, Kirk, but that tight end is just so tough to stop down here in the red zone. Listen, speaking on behalf of all quarterbacks, you get down in the red zone, you're looking for that big target that you can trust. He's going to run a good route, and he's got a big wingspan to allow you to make a throw up into the air. He can go up and make a catch over most defenders. Really good execution. They come up with six. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. Ball handed to the running back. No way to run up the middle. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Second down after that previous play. To throw, it's Voboda. Receiver makes the catch, moves the ball out across the 30, and that's good for a first down. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Defense does a really nice job here being able to contain that run game, held him just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. He'll be taken down, marker on the field. If it's on the offense, that'll be a sack. So the offense obviously will decline the penalty and take the result of the play. The offense now facing a third and long from the 26. Got to avoid a mistake here. Here's the snap, looking to throw. And pass is caught. Defense will wrap them up after an eight-yard gain. It'll bring up fourth down. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. On the kick now for the fifth time today. They'll kick it away here. He's going to try to return the punt. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And the speedy returner will be able to stop him. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. The last drive, the passing game, very effective. Moved him right down the field. Can the defense make adjustments? Grab behind the line. It's Cook. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. And they'll stop him after a short game. Crucial play for both offense and defense. We'll see what we get here on third and four. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. They make the first down, brought down to the 31. So the clock stops as we head into the final two minutes of play here. This defense needing to step up and make a play now. Hand off here from the shotgun. He shows off the juking ability, but not much room to run. It's a short game. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Using his legs, it's Baxter. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Trying to run it, it's Baxter. 
And he's brought down. But hold on, there's a flag on the play. Costly hold nullifies the play, backs him up 10 yards. First down here for this offense. And there's the handoff. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this call. Offense will have to overcome the holding penalty now. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Ball carrier brought down, but a flag's on the field. Let's check out this call. Offense moving backwards after that holding penalty. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. They're going to run it. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So bad plays on first and second down puts him in a tough spot here. Third and very long. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. The Longhorns will have to kick this away. And they'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Not a very good boot. Sets up the offense in great field position. They need to score quickly here, trying to dial up some big plays. Scanning the field, it's Foboda. Now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. And it's caught way downfield inside the 35. Touchdown, Cowboys. Just ran away from the defense. And just like that, Chris, we got a touchdown here. And they're an extra point away from taking the lead. Unbelievable to watch this quarterback and this offense work. They still need this extra point to tie. And a timeout is taken. Just three seconds left. Time for one last play. And FPAT gives us a tie ball game here in the final quarter. Now they get set to kick it away. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And the coverage team able to bring him down. So tied up after regulation, we go to overtime. Remember, in college football, it's dueling possessions. In the second overtime, if we get there, you have to go for two points if you score a touchdown. And the third overtime, Kirk, just becomes a series of two-point tries. And I know that's your favorite, to see if we can get to that third series of these overtimes. I love extra football, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's see who's going to win it. Here comes our first play of overtime. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. One more, so going to take advantage of this red zone trip. And the wideout goes in motion. Grab behind the line, it's Golden. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. So the offense will set up first and goal here in this first overtime. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Couldn't quite get there, but brought down at the one-yard line. Coming up, second down and goal. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Longhorns, to take the lead in overtime. 
a defensive coordinator, you've got to be careful being so worried about this pass game and this quarterback that you're a little bit soft up front, and it cost you. It's exactly what happened here as they scored this touchdown. point to make this a seven point game in overtime. PAT makes it a seven point lead. So pressure on this offense. They must answer with a touchdown to stay in this game. And looking to throw now on first down. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Looking to pass. It's Foboda. Fires it to the wideout. It's intercepted. A crucial overtime mistake. Not much of a return, but the pick ends the scoring threat and sets the offense up at the 33. In these playoff games, it's win or go home. So one side can continue to dream about the national championship. The other side suddenly, Kirk, their season is over, but it's been a good ride. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. It, you know, it's easy to focus on the team that advances, and they, they should be happy, obviously. They had a great year. They're going to continue to go on. But the team that comes up a little bit short, you know, you can see the emotion down on the field right now. They put so much into this year. Hopefully they'll be able to learn from this and come back even stronger next year. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.